Hey, crazy face. There's a lot of really bad videos out there on the internet comparing the AK and the AR. But today, we're going to solve the question that everybody's been asking. That's, which rifle's better for combat in space? Except for that, we're not going to be in space. We're actually going to be firing probably right over there. And it's going to be more of Earth. So it's really more of a question of which rifle's the best on Earth? We're going to use control conditions and the scientific method in order to determine which one's the best. Now that's what I call science. Go ahead and tell your mom you're not going anywhere until we figure out which rival's the best. 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 practical purposes, we're going to be comparing the M4 against the AK-47. Let's look at the lengths. The AK-47 is two inches longer than the M4. Now we were going to weigh both of these rifles, but as it turns out, the scale was unplugged, so based on how I feel about these rifles emotionally, the AK-47 is at least twice as light as the M4. Close the book on that one. <laughs> Average muzzle velocities. Wow, just under 3,000 for the M4. Oh my god, over 20,000 feet per second, or, oh wait, no, it's actually 2,000 feet per second. I did an extra zero. Sorry about that. Accessory interfaceability. The M4 rifle has no provision for mounting any kind of accessory or optic whatsoever. Good job, Eugene Stoner. The AR is covered in uncomfortable, abrasive, bumpy nubs. Nothing that a bench grinder can't take care of. The AK-47 accepts an entire variety of optics and accessories. Its smooth contours and surfaces create a seamless transition from the accessory to the host weapon. Penetrating capability. The SS-109 projectile will defeat light cover. Let's see what the AK-47 does. Terminal Ballistics, the effect of the round after it's entered its intended target. Flesh. The largest exit diameter was one and a half inches, the smallest half an inch. operation under adverse conditions. Oh, fuck that! Fuck you! A ladle full of cottage cheese absolutely will not stop an AK-47. will a cup of peanut butter. Dang it! I dropped my ham sandwich in my AK again. No matter, an AK will not be stopped by a ham sandwich. Controllability. First, we're gonna be taking a look at the AK-47. This particular unit has only a muzzle nut, as opposed to a slam break, which would normally be more effective. less than four inches of rearward movement, and less than one inch of vertical climb. The M4 utilizes an A2 birdcage flash hider. This has a degree of compensation as well as flash reduction. Let's see how it performs. My God. The final test. 
one-handed gangster style from a moving vehicle. <laughs> Just kidding. That's obviously not a real test, but seriously.